what are the sources of multicollinearity? From where the problem of multicollinearity arises in our data? Why, when you are testing your data and your software gives you an answer that your data possesses multicollinearity? What are the reasons that we are getting multicollinearity? So there are four or five main important points which you keep in your mind. Number one, the data collection method implied. For example, if you are selecting a sample and if your sample covers a limited number of values, I mean you have a very small samples. For example, you have a population and suppose your population uh, is consisted of 100 observations, 100 observation and you are selecting a sample from this population and you are selecting only two observations from your sample if you are selecting a sample and your sample includes a limited number of values with this selection you are welcoming multicollinearity what we need to do we need to get a long series of a sample we need more values if you have a long data set, so there is a possibility that there will be no multicollinearity. Now, second case, constraints on the model. You are selecting a model, but you are putting constraints on your selected model. For example, you have three variables. One is electricity consumption. That is your dependent variable. And you have two independent variables. One is income, which is denoted by X2, and the third one is household size x3 so how this will affect your analysis it means that you are putting a physical constraint in the population and that families with higher incomes generally have larger homes than families with lower income why is the electricity consumption and you have two independent variables x2 and x3 x2 represents income of families and x3 represents house size now you are selecting a sample from the population what you will do it means you are putting a physical constraint on a selected sample you will consider those people are those individuals are those respondents who have more incomes who have large houses than those who have less income and small houses. It means that you are putting a constraint on your model. This will lead to arise multicollinearity in your data. Number third, model specification. For example, you are adding polynomial terms, x squared, x cubed, and so on. And if your x variable values in the range are very small. For example, you have three variables. One is x, second, x square third x cube you have three variables so x square and x cube they are polynomial terms but your values are very small it means there will be a problem of multi collinearity look at equation 10.1.1 suppose this is the case when you you have a time series data you need to plot your time series for example you have three variables one is gdp the second one is uh, the CPI data, I mean to say the inflation data, and the third one is the, uh, suppose the interest rate data or the consumption data. You need to plot your data. If there is a clear upward trend, for example, you will find that your GDP, the GDP of your country will increase over time. It means there is an upward trend. If your variables share a common trend, common trend means if two variables or three variables, they are increasing over time. It means there is the case of multicollinearity. Your variables are dependent. Your variables have a strong connection. So maybe your variables increase with respect to time or maybe your variables decrease with respect to time it means the trend will best guide you about the existence of multicollinearity the common trend will give you a signal that yes you have the problem of multicollinearity in data so 
when you are dealing with the time series data you need to plot your data first you have three variables you need to plot the first variable then you need to plot the second variable and finally you need to plot the third variable the graphical plot will show you about the nature of the relationship between these three variables if these three variables sharing a common trend it means that these variables are increasing over the number of years and there is a possibility that your data include the problem of multicollinearity actually this is a very simple tip you have your explanatory variables you need to plot these variables first the graphical plot of these variables will guide you about the nature of trend if all of your variables are increasing it means that all of your variables are sharing a common trend it means there is a problem of multicollinearity